Hello friends, I got a haircut. Anyway, that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is um, discipline and motivation. So I'm, I'm a, I help a lot of people with procrastination and my best selling book is on anti-procrastination. It's called The Action Formula. It's available on both hard copy and um, Kindle on Amazon. And um, again, it's called The Action Formula. So I've helped a lot of people with um, procrastination and I do a lot of things, right? I'm not, you know, saying I'm some really, you know, accomplished person, but I do get a lot of things done. I write a lot of books. I coach a lot of people. I do a lot of work on my software engineering and I run um, two other YouTube channels, um, but they're not like related to me. So I get a lot of things done, but the, the things that I don't really ever really think about is motivation and discipline. So it really um, kind of irks me when the traditional model of like, oh, effort, grind, and that's how you need to get things done, right? Like discipline. Like, you can't rely on motivation because it's, like, temporary and um, you need to do it tired. You need to do it scared, blah, 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 blah. I don't buy that, right? I don't buy it at all. So, I want to talk about, first, my view on actions, how to get things done. And, secondly, I want to talk a little bit about, like, the deeper meaning behind uh, do it anyway. Now... How do I think of action? I think you should just do whatever you feel like. Um, if you don't feel like doing something, then I don't think you should do it. The greater theme underlying my philosophy around coaching, whether it be for procrastination, whether it be for depression, whether it be for social anxiety, whatever. A great theme that I use is a lot of Buddhist philosophy. And in three tenets of the Buddhist philosophy, there is a concept called um, impermanence, right? Nothing is permanent. Everything is always changing. So I may want to be a really, like, I may want to, you know, record this video right now. That's why I'm doing it in the first place. But the thing is, as soon as I don't want to, I can stop. I have that free will. Now, um, for the past year or so, I've been doing YouTube quite regularly. But the thing is, if I don't want to, I can stop tomorrow. And that's completely fine. The thing is, I may want to stop, but that also is not forever. So I may want to come back later, and that's okay too. So whatever you feel like, just do it. Whenever you don't feel like doing it, don't do it. And now the common rebuttal is that, no, things have to be done. Otherwise, blah, 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 all these negative things happen. Right. I'm not arguing with that. So... If that matters that much to you, then just do it. Number one, suffering is optional, completely optional. You don't need to have all these negative um, perspectives around punishment and bad things happening. Therefore, I need to do it. That kind of mentality is going to draw you out. Like if you if you spend your whole life doing things that you don't want to do, but have to do because of consequences, that's going to be pretty bad, right? But the thing is, if you really think about it, and I talk about a, this concept a lot in my other videos, nothing is that important. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to eat if you want to die. That's a perfectly legal thing, right? No one's stopping you from doing that. But, you know, it turns out living is pretty cool, and dying kind of hurts, dying by starvation especially. So you would eat. You don't need to sleep. You don't have to sleep. You could keep yourself awake until you die. So like nothing. You don't have to go to school. Tons of people don't go to school. You don't have to graduate. Tons of people don't graduate. You don't have to make money. Tons of people don't make money. You don't have to have a YouTube channel. Tons of people don't. So yes, I understand. This concept is baffling. It And also kind of feels like I'm gaslighting you right now. But the thing is really try to understand that nothing is that important and so life is better spent drama free here doing the things you want to do that way when you want to write a book you're gonna write a book but now you're gonna be full force because you know you want to write the book that's why 
you want to play a video game like me um you know like two months ago i spent like two months just playing path of exile and against the storm i didn't have a problem with it because hey i know i'm a pretty smart guy if i want to play video games this bad probably a good reason for it so i just do it i just do things and then when i don't want to i just stop i don't second guess my decision making process and that is a big driving force in how I get things done and how I get so many things done in a short amount of time. Um, but then again, now that relates to the second topic of this video. You don't need to do everything well. I talked about this in um, yesterday's video, right? Don't try so hard. Now, will there be times when you're not perfectly amped up to do everything? Yes. And doing things in that state is also fine. Like you don't need to always apply 100% of your effort into everything. To be honest, that's how I run my YouTube. Why? It makes it sustainable. If I had to focus really hard and if I had to really work my ass off to get this um, channel going a lot more than it is right now, then I would hate doing YouTube. I get a lot of emails from a lot of people who do YouTube. Hey man, you should hire me. I do thumbnails, SEO, here are all the things that are wrong with your channel, blah, 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 blah. But no, um, that's exactly how I run, want to run this channel. There's nothing wrong with my channel. Could I do thumbnails? Yes, I could. Do I want to? No, but that's fine. I don't need to be doing YouTube at 100% capacity. So what I'm trying to say is do it anyway. Like force yourself to do it is bad. I don't want you to do that. But at the same time, you kind of want to, but you're not fully motivated, but you're doing it. That's okay. You don't need to be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to wait until I'm fully encouraged and I'm going to do it. You could do it that way, but the thing is, like, even if you're not fully amped up, doing itself is fine. And guess what? Once you start doing something, um, you r ride the rhythm, right? And then who knows? And then afterwards, you start getting amped up and you continue feeling motivated. So key theme in this video is that nothing is permanent. Use that to your advantage. Just don't want to do it, then don't. Want to do it? Good. Don't want to like really, really do it, but you kind of like have, I mean, you need to do it. Fine. Do it. Um, live drama free. Be free of suffering.